Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly well reading. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to start with your Angel Answer Oracle card for Capricorn. This is the card that answers your questions at the end of the reading, or it becomes, and sometimes it's also the becomes a part of the reading. So let's see. Three, two, one. Next, we're going to get you some Romance Angel card. Let's see here. It's Capricorn. Whoa. Your cards are flying away here, Capricorn. Let's see here. What did you get? You deserve love. You are lovable. You also got another card. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, I feel like this is about letting go of control and believing that you are worthy of receiving the love that may be offering, being offered to you, excuse me. You know, because it talks about allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy. Believing you're lovable. It all kind of goes hand in hand. If you don't believe you are worthy, well, you're probably not going to get it, you know? Okay. Well, I've been taking a couple of cards, but let's let it ride, right? So, interesting cards. Capricorn. We start with the tower card. <laughs> Which would explain why you are having your issues believing you're lovable and that you deserve it. This to me says that somewhere in the past you had a relationship that uh, imploded, exploded. Actually, I would have to say you dove from. Because the first thing when I really look at this card I see is, is the person who looks like they're diving out. So I feel like there was a relationship that was crumbling and you just said, you know what, before it's so far gone that I can't get out and I'm stuck forever and ever, I'm jumping ship. I almost want to say this is someone who might have actually been to a point where they thought they were getting engaged. That's kind of how I feel because she's in a white dress. So this actually may be specifically for a Capricorn who thought they were getting married. But then something happens. And I feel like this has already happened. I don't think this is going to happen. I think it's part of your past. And that's why you need to be reminded that you are lovable. You know, and that that feeling you're feeling for someone else, it's real and you do deserve it. So I do believe this is someone. And it's very interesting. I said that because you also got the Ace of Cups. Now, after this... When you get this wonderful offer of love, this beginning feelings that there's something here, you are probably saying to yourself, why would I deserve, you know, after this, you may have no faith in love whatsoever, but this is what's coming your way. This is coming your way. And you know what? Possibly from a fire sign, page of wands. This is a new passionate beginning. What did this say? Passion. So this is more confirmation. You are lovable. You can have a passionate beginning, possibly with the King of Swords. The King of Swords, he is not the most friendliest looking dude, is he? Nope, not at all. But there is passion here. He's intelligent. He knows how to make decisions. He's analytical. He is more than likely the King of Swords would be your air signs, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Does this sound familiar to you? Is there someone around you like that, Capricorn? Interestingly enough, you also have the moon. Could be Cancerian. Now, don't laugh. I had these cards quite a while before I realized that this was the moon, was her head. Don't ask me why. Don't know why I missed it. But... This is more confirmation of these cards here, especially this, that you have to believe you're lovable 
because after this, I feel like this past breakup did such a job on you that you really still don't believe that you are valuable. And the, the moon talks about fear of not seeing everything. And here you are holding, this is like, I call this the river of tears and it's going back over. To me, it's almost like a version of the six of cups of reminiscing, but not about the good stuff, about the bad stuff, about the fears, what you didn't know, what caused, what caused this? You know, I mean, look at the, look at this dog's eyes bulging out of his head. There's some shock. There's some surprise. There's some fear about, you know, what was there. And I think that what's interesting is she carries the keys, these keys, on her waist. So to me, it's almost like saying you have the keys to unlock all that you don't know. It's kind of like saying you have this information within you. And because it's the moon, you're not seeing it all. And I think these cards are here to remind you that you are lovable. You know, you do deserve to be loved. No matter what happened here, if you dove out a relationship because you were like, I just, this is not going to work. That would make sense, right? Would make sense. So tell us some more about this new, wow. <gasps> Wow, I said this new, and I wasn't sure if I was going to say relationship or person, but we got the Queen of Swords, Capricorn, the King and Queen of Swords. Matched set here. This could be a divine relationship. This is a soulmate relationship. Just keep in mind, they both hold their swords up. This is, uh, this to me would be like a mental connection more than likely. And this is, you know, when you let someone in, but you are still, you're still very discerning as to what you do and don't like. And I think that's why you're both guarded with those swords, or as I call them, the swords of truth. You're not taking any BS. You don't believe it, you ain't going to believe it. And that's it. You know, something I didn't realize before is look at where the clouds are on this. The clouds are low. He's actually above the clouds or at the level of the clouds. How peculiar. Very interesting. I'm kind of curious because I'm thinking that it has to do with the moon. I don't know why, but I do. Hmm. Let's see something here. Tell us about the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. More about the Queen of Swords. I'm wondering about what kind of relationship this is, or if maybe this really is a Cancerian, and that's why I'm thinking of all the clouds. Temperance. Being patient. Look at the light, the third eye, the knowing. That's why, remember, I, I, that's, now it makes sense. The reason why I was thinking of the, the Queen of Swords with the moon is with the temperance, her third eye is lit here. It's glowing, it's shining. Look at the light shining on it. This to me is be patient and you will know. You will know. See all this, all this that you haven't been able to unlock that you don't see? The Queen of Swords is here because you will know, and this is confirmation to me, the Temperance card is give it time. It's almost like letting it simmer because she's pouring from one glass to another. And as she's doing that, she's seeing and experience. maybe she's seeing more clearly those emotions that she's going over and over again, that the keys that she has are, are she has, but she's not using. And this to me is saying, as you go through this, you will learn and you will know the truth. That's the sim that to me is the symbolism of the Queen of Swords being here. You will know the truth about what makes you so scared about moving forward. So, wow, Capricorn. 
some heavy reading here, kid. Your answer, what's your question? You got it? Let go. <laughs> kind of makes sense. I think you're so afraid from what's happened in the past and so sure that maybe, you know, it's just not going to happen that, you know, this passionate, really? Me? Is this really an offer I can trust? Well, you know, it's going to take you time to get there. But you will know. You know, you will know. You will be able to use those keys that you've been carrying around. You know. You have the keys to open up to find the truth. So you can have this passionate new relationship coming in, possibly with an air sign, Capricorn. So I've been ending the readings with an Oracle of the Unicorn card because, well, I think it's obvious. I like unicorns. Sorry. <laughs> it's only been there the whole reading. I'm so sorry about that. Capricorn. Four, three, okay, two, and one. And Capricorn, your card is perfect. Growth. See, uh, I'm going to read the part that I think is appropriate for you. Take baby steps as you grow. And I think that the purpose of this is you are growing. You know, maybe this is something that happened when you were very young. And now you are growing and you are beginning to learn. You need to be able to learn from past mistakes and move forward. I think this to me is saying, let go of the past, Capricorn. Move forward. Okay? Thank you so much for being you, being here and being you, Capricorn. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you. Good luck. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.